Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out on the Citadel as usual here in West Hill. We've been working on this little inn hanging out here on the hill and we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. We've got some things that we want to finish up. I want to work on the inside a little bit. I want to take some textures and finish up some of the concepts that we had on the outside here and I want to see if we can get a start on the grounds and I'm thinking because of the red nature of of the uh the inn we might be able to get away with some torch flowers i thought i had some nope maybe pitcher plants i've got torch flowers somewhere so we're going to give those a go i don't know if we're going to do i feel like the front is going to be flower garden and then the back will be more utility like maybe some vegetable gardens maybe like a small pig pen if i can get one to stay in there and then maybe we'll have like a flower thing over here but it'll be small. But most of this I think is gonna be it's gonna be vegetable garden. So I'm thinking like maybe maybe everything to the left will be vegetable garden. And then we can have other things happening over there. First though, I want to tackle the inside, I think, and I think I need to remove some of what's in my inventory and kind of get back down to some basics because this is very full we're gonna smelt those actually and put those back Cosmic Blast Jordan, Dad from Bear, True Purple. And I think I saw Simply Clover as well. And Insane Value. Thanks very much for hanging out. Good to see everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Pretty chill Sunday for me. I was up really early, but I just did some reading, watched a little bit of YouTube. Uh, that goes there. keep some of this stuff because if we're going to work on the interior I'm probably going to need some of the basic things I don't know if we'll need that many hanging signs so we can put those back barrels we'll need I need more barrels actually what do I have for slabs I feel like I have a lot of slabs maybe inside. Somewhere I've got extra slabs. We'll go look for the torch flowers anyway. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's see. Do I have like a spare shulker? That's just full of slabs somewhere. Perhaps not. We tore down a whole village. And I think that's where I'm getting that idea. I'll bring the beehives. This is where I keep a lot of odds and ends. I don't think I want a pot anywhere in the inn. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. I'll bring it out anyway. I'm not sure what the difference is between a tag, not a tag. Uh, don't think I need the mini blocks. We'll bring those. Might as well.
wouldn't be there. Uh, it's Dragon. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Oh, we'll bring that. I have to fix those. I think I'm just going to delete the old ones. There's some torch flower seeds. Do I have... We are slowly but surely breaking all of our shulker boxes out front. I guess I don't have slabs. I thought I did. Well, I've got a lot more wood than I thought. So we'll turn these into slabs and then we'll turn those into barrels. Sweet Sandy, thanks for being awesome. And Cosmic. Always good to have two moderators swinging around in chat. <laughs> you know, I think I like these new Shulker Box display things. I like Before it looked weird without the pixel around it, but now that they've got the pixels around it, I think it looks pretty good. All right, where are we going to put all this stuff? This is flower, green, and then flowers. So let's go flower, flower. Why is that not pink? Maybe we should just make that pink. Less confusing. That is tables and chairs. Put that there. Basalt and stone mini blocks. So basalt and stone mini blocks. It takes a little bit to get used to because I'm used to this being a certain look. All right, let's just do this. We'll turn. those into slabs and then barrels oh I didn't even make them all slabs whoops that was too many slabs Well, I've got a lot of slabs now. I guess I could just use them for fuel. Yeah, I don't know about the decorated pot. I guess we'll see. So I'm curious about the torch flower, if they're going to go with what I want. And can you just make more torch flowers with bone meal, or do you have to actually um, like harvest them from a sniffer? So this is just a rough path. So let's just try. Hmm. I don't know whether I'd want the path to go here. We'll see. Sniffers need to sift them. Okay. Well, we do have a sniffer farm. Cosmic has one. Pretty sure 
they'd be okay if I went and got some. Oh yeah, the Shulker monster always takes care. I don't listen to music on my streams because YouTube likes to do false positives on the uh, on the monetiz monetization checks, so I just don't care. Check the in-game chat for what? Lovecraft, thanks for giving Cosmic a shout out for the gift sub. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. Oh, there is somebody. Oh, look. Torch flower seeds. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> and they're gone. <laughs> well, that answers that. We now have torch flower seeds. And I did not bring the bone meal out, I don't think. Did not. I do want that out, though. Yeah, that's a lot of shulker boxes. Okay. First thing, I'm tired of looking at this eyesore inside the main gate here, or main door. So we're going to use the tables and chairs data pack, I think, and try to make this look a little bit better. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is change the floor. And we'll change this into an actual um, bench. Although, hmm. If this is meant to be a counter, I don't know if it would have legs. I feel like this would probably just be solid. I just don't like it being solid like that. Maybe. Yeah. I did. A little rustic. I'm not sure what else we could put there for use as a counter, but it's an improvement on what we already had. Uh, oh, check chat for Cosmic. Thank you. Um, Handful of these. So I think we're going to go with andesite as the theme. I think that looks okay. These might be okay as something like a um, smooth stone. I don't know if I want to do that's kind of cool, but it sticks out really far. It might be fun to have like an armor stand thing up there. That could be fun. Maybe to make this feel a little bit bigger, we could do that instead of the stairs, although it keeps it very square. And these don't have a bottom on them, so maybe we'll go back to stairs. Uh, yeah, that'll be good enough for now. I don't think I want to use the beehives or the chisel bookshelves as the front. Um, countertop although the brown is a little bit samey that could be good
I might like that better. That could work. That could work. Grandpa Crafter, good to see you. Two of those. Don't need those anymore. So the tables and chairs is going to be tricky. I think I have to delete all the tables and chairs I have currently. I like that, but I'm not sure I like this at the back. I wonder if we could just get away with regular andesite there. Yeah, I like that better. This feels more complete. So yeah, I'm not crazy about the fact that I can't do something here without it being really far out, but maybe, maybe we can work something out up there. What I think I will probably do is some sort of armor stand thing. Or a painting? I don't know. And I was, I was liking these little um, details, but Sometimes they look good outside, but I could also, that might end up changing because sometimes inside I want to do things that uh, change the way that it, that the ceiling looks, like have stairs drop down. So like maybe, maybe here we go with this kind of a detail or we do that on either side of the window. And then again, I don't like those vertices. So if I change this, then it just completely hides it. But then it does look like it's got some support inside, which is cool. I don't think I want to get into having any hanging beams unless maybe I do one above the door that's kind of cool structurally it's going to look weird upstairs what if we did this Hey, Chasm, I hope I'm saying your name right. Thanks very much for the subscription. 24 months. That's amazing. Two years. Can we get some love and chat for two years from Kay Chasm? Have you heard of, thought about using the immersive painting mod used on Infinity Cove? Uh, no, I don't know what that is. That looks okay. If I did that, I'd want to come in here and do something else, maybe sideways. And that could be cool if that lines up with here. We could do this on this side too. That show outside? Oh, 
don't think so. But that that adds some some depth, I think. And I did bring the quartz because I was curious as to whether this is going to work. Because this feels very flat. It's pretty white. It's not going to match incredibly well. But give us some leeway. And I think I'm going to get some extra doors. This is the kind of fun stuff where the little details try to tie everything together. And I... I like this kind of stuff. I think we're going to go with the oak doors for this place. I need to download the oak door, the 3D oak door pack. I thought I had it, but I guess it's not working. It's working on the trap doors. I need to make some changes to my, my resource pack anyway. All right, cool. Thanks, Cosmic. Appreciate it. I know I've got custom paintings in the modern city. And those are baked into my texture pack. So there's that. But that gives some more depth from out here, which is good. I think that adds a little bit of extra structure and fun and also hides one of the borders of that quartz block so that works out well too uh if that works we might be able to do quartz here as well Now, I know quartz is very different than the calcite, but I, w I really want the stairs. And I know I could do diorite, but I really don't like diorite that much. If the quartz really clashes, we can always defer to using diorite above the doors. I think I'm okay with those as they are. Those are very purple. I thought they were going to match better. Can I put down a full pitcher plant if I have one? I think I can. Oh, and they do that stupid thing where they don't go in the center, right? True dog, good to see you. I think these might be better off as like a big farm over there. I think it would be fun to have like a whole farm plantation of pitcher plants. Some of those might be good out back because they match more with kind of what's happening over there than they do this building. All right, so we've got those beams in. I don't think I want to do a beam across here. Well, I can't right now anyway. K the River Cat with a tier one sub, 31 months. Thanks so much. Appreciate the support as always. There's a mod that I sent uh, and, and tagged you on Discord Cosmic that's called Center All Plants, and I'm very seriously considering it. I don't think there's very many places where an off-center plant is key to my my build. The problem, of course, I think is that it doesn't it does it with everything. So grass, so places where grass overlaps and it looks good, it would remove that. So you kind of have that give and take. 
I do like that. I don't think I want to do it there. I think we can just leave that as it is. Maybe one thing we could do here would be to use trapdoors. So it feels like it has a little bit more of a vaulted ceiling there. And then in here, we can reduce some of these seams. Oh, hmm. Don't know if I like that. So then this looks funny, so we can have to change. I think that has to get it has to change. It looks fine there. It just looks weird here. But that means that the floor up here is going to have to shift to something else. Oh, that's the wrong one. This one. So that has to be something else. We could maybe cover that up. There's a chance that if I wanted that to be stone or something. This is the trick when you're dealing with floors and ceilings that are the same block. So here we'd have to come up with something to go there. And then that really does feel in the way, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, that's a pain. That looks so much better though. Dang it. If there's no real way to fix that, I guess I could try to turn these sideways. Nope. Maybe it just has to be a really tight corner. I think the mace is all right. I'm going to talk a lot more about it on the Spawn Chunks podcast tomorrow with Pixel Riffs. TheSpawnChunks.com or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Very easy to find. That's, yeah, that's tricky. Let's leave something temporary there for now. We'll tackle the upstairs after I get this stuff sorted. Uh, I think that's pretty good for the rafters. I don't think I need too much more down here. Maybe we can scoot in a little bit of detail there. Or I could go the opposite way. I like the trapdoors better. Trapdoors or slabs? Trapdoors. I don't do much for PvE or PvP, so the mace, as a weapon only, doesn't really matter too much to me. Uh, maybe we just don't have anything there. That feels a little bit bland.
maybe we can hang something there. Like a lantern or something. All right, I think that's all the structure in here. We can work on textures after I get in the floor, I guess. And some of that's going to be pretty straightforward. So I'd like to try and make spots in the floor look worn based on footpath. And we've got control over a lot of this stuff, which is good. And the basement ceiling is thicker as an extra block. So we don't have to worry about this being the same as downstairs, which is nice. Is there another brown block that I could use for floor texture? I feel like I'm drawing a blank. I don't want to use barrels. I guess I could use the underside of a barrel, couldn't I? See how that looks. Oh yeah, that helps a little bit. I feel like we could use two of those actually. Where's, oh, there we go, I got turned around. Now it is probably Mob City out here. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, there's a, I guess there's a lot to say about, about the mace, you know, once we know the enchantments, that's true. Um, oh look, bone meal. Don't know. They're okay. They're very bright. And I, I don't know if roses are going to be the way to go for flowers. I think a lot of these are going to clash. So I'm saying no to these. Do I need shears for these? No. Okay, good. Yeah, I think the red roses might be the best way to go. Maybe we can work in a little bit of the torch flower. The torch flower bottom is just so odd. Like it's so turquoise. I mean, I'm all for having different stuff in Minecraft. It's just hard when they don't go with anything else. But right away, I know we're not gonna be using those. These are not bad. There's enough purple happening that they're a good, um, good high contrast. So we'll mess around with those a little bit. Suddenly forget all the brown blocks. Yeah, right? Um, note blocks. Bottom of composters. They're going to be too red. Uh, I feel like I've used one other texture. Brown mushroom block would be too bright. Well, 
Easy thing to do is just to go pop inside some of my other builds that have brown floors. Yeah, it's just it's just those three I seem to use a lot. There's another one over here, I think, too. Nope, wrong floor. I don't know. I feel like I got a dark floor in the second floor of this inn. Check that out. Torch flower is more orange than red, I agree. Ooh, we might be able to do some berry bushes. Oh, here I just went straight. Oh, this has got the dark frame, that's why. I'm going up top. No, didn't even texture it. Yeah, I think I'm you I'm thinking I'm thinking about path instead of floor. Yeah. It's alright. Less work. It's too bad that the um the entity mod that I have doesn't work very well with the Shulker Plus data mod. Because I quite like not having my shulker boxes disappear as I fly away. What is Matt Cass doing? I think that's pretty good. So these are going to be tables and chairs. So I should probably do that now so if it's a table there and a chair there here would probably have some wear and tear underneath it probably want to put some firewood there unfortunately i can't do like a centered fireplace i'd have to do a fire off to one side so chair table and then two chairs Maybe we'll put trapdoor somewhere as well. Don't have any more barrels. Is he logging in for the first time since the update? Uh, maybe. Slow, but it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Maybe we'll add one more trapdoor here. Cool. 
All right, let's go get the tables and chairs. Since it's only like a couple of these things, I'm not too worried about it. I do want some of these. And somewhere I had campfires. I don't remember where I keep those. I think I just make them as I need them. And I don't remember whether I've installed the texture pack that removes the um, the bottom from campfires. I don't think I do. Nope. I had it installed separately, but it was causing problems. So if we want it to look cool in there, we might be able to do a little bit with the blocks next to the campfire. I guess underneath it doesn't really matter. Crap. I did bring some basalt. Because I do like the way that this looks. Although, like I said, you're not going to be able to see much of it with the campfire texture the way that I have it. Still, not bad. And that should light up the whole room with no torches needed inside. And a good chunk of it outside as well. And if we wanted it out, we'd have to come up. Well, you know what? It would be dim in here. We'd have to come up with some candles for lighting, but we wouldn't really need need a lot. So we could potentially have that looking like that. I do find it funny how they light <laughs> when you pick them up. Yeah, I think I'll probably do a combination of the red roses and some other some other low flowers like um, probably some white, um, probably blue ice, just because they'll look, they'll match with the, the white walls a little bit. I really like what we did over here with like the field of blue ice. It looks very cool. Actually, let's just, I think, I think that works really well. So we'll do something along, along those lines. Okay, those are in. Let's look at, so anything that I've made that's new, some of these are tagged and some of these are not. And so they, if they don't stack, then they're the new ones. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Maybe grab, I don't think I want dark oak. I think I want mostly oak. So I'm probably gonna to need to make new ones. It's honestly probably gonna be better just to delete all of this. 
it's not that much. Although, given that these are stacked over here, I probably made those brand new. Same thing with that one, maybe. All right, like I said, not a big deal. We'll just um, stick these all here. Let's just fill up the inventory. I'd rather not mess with old data pack problems. So we'll just start brand new. And the hammer was here somewhere. Oh yes, there's two of those too. Uh, let's just make a new hammer. Do I remember how to make a new hammer? Nope. Uh, sticks and iron, I'm sure. I want to say it's that. Nope. Aha. So it says wrench, but you get the hammer. And so again, I will put this in here and we will toss whatever. I was making some changes and there was some, definitely some errors in this data pack, so I'll just toss those out. So now we know we are dealing with a new furniture hammer and everything else. So these are pretty straightforward and I think we're going to look at It's either going to be dark oak or it's going to be oak for the tables and the chairs. Get the hammer, and we'll see which ones look best. The MacCast subscribed to Tier 1 for 69 months. Thanks very much. Coming up on the big 7-0. That's amazing. Really appreciate it, MacCast. So there is oak table, and that's dark oak chair. And the fun thing about this is that with an empty hand, you can punch them. And I mean, they overlap a little bit, which is an oversight, but they, they do, they do look good kind of tucked in. You can't do that with the tables, unfortunately. I might actually put that back and then have the other one tucked in. We'll try a dark oak table. Hmm. Now here's the question. Can we actually remove these? All right. Previous version, the hitboxes were messed up.
I wonder if the tablecloth works in this version. I think I like the light table and the dark chairs. We could try spruce. It might look like a little bit too much spruce, but we'll give it a go. Meadow, 12-month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer has entered month five. Thanks for the shout-out for Cosmic. Cosmic, thanks always for the gift subs, and uh, appreciate it. Good to see you, Meadow. Switch these around. Zenthane, hello, what's up? Good to see you. So we can try a spruce chair. I don't think a spruce table is going to look very good. Spruce chair looks okay. I feel like the spruce table is going to blend in too much with the floor. Yeah. We'll go dark oak table again. You can't pick block these either, which is annoying. And so here, to get this away from the door, we can use an empty hand. They used to slide. They kind of just boop now. Yeah, you know, I think I like the darker table. Maybe we'll go with dark tables and spruce chairs. that or I turn this chair that way. Ooh, I think I like that better. Yeah. All right. I think I like the fire going. And then I think that's a weird combo there. Maybe I don't need that. Oh, but then I can't have a plant there. Right. Oh, the alerts going off is perfectly fine, Meadow. That's exactly what they're there for. Yeah, the noise of the campfire does add a little bit. You're right. I'm going to grab my carpets. I'm just curious as to whether or not the tablecloths work in this version of the pack. Ah, uh, carpets. Yet another box somewhere. If I were going to be a tablecloth color, what tablecloth color would I be? White? Red? Light gray? I'm thinking more about just colors that match everything. The white is very bright. The red does look pretty snazzy too though.
Hmm. There's no real in-between. The light gray was a little bit too muddy looking. I think we'll go with white. Cool. Now, in some cases, now that's consuming the carpet, which is interesting. That never used to happen. Uh, but in some cases, you can get cushions on the seats, which I'm not sure if that's going to look too fancy. There's spruce seats. Hmm. I guess that doesn't work. Oh, it does. I I like the brown, honestly. Uh, or do I like the gray? Let's go with gray. Oh, add-ons and bedrock, I think, are going to be great for people. I agree. I know the joke is that add-ons have been available on bedrock forever, but only in the marketplace. And did I see an article the other day that said that um, the marketplace is now like a Game Pass subscription? So, like, you don't have to buy per download. You can just have, like, a sub and have access to everything. That's cool. All right, firewood. Uh, do I want a full log there? Or do I want just mini blocks? I can only have one mini block in the space. Full log might look a little bit too heavy. Yeah. I think I go with the darker one. I was hoping to put that on top of something. I think that's fine. All right. And then I guess we can put maybe a cup on one of these. Probably that one because it doesn't need any light because it's, uh, it's way over by the fireplace. So we can put just a flower pot there. Unfortunately, I don't have any real fun stuff for table settings because I just haven't bothered. I, d I didn't want to go that far outside of vanilla with the data pack stuff. And then candles somewhere. Go. I don't think we'll use white. We'll see. I guess I could probably put a flower in that too, couldn't I? Really wish we could mix and match candles. Those are the white candles. Wow. I was like, those look kind of gray. I thought I'd use the gray ones. Whoops. So definitely two candles, not three. I 
I think I'm gonna go with the white. I think that's good. Nope. Just doesn't look right. I do kind of want something on here, but I'm not sure what just yet. Maybe a book. Putting a book would probably be a good idea. Uh, I don't know what color flower. Probably just a blue A, honestly. We might like a, luck out. We've got the, the data pack that gives like some of the flowers extra bushiness. Oh, is there a, did I miss a break? I did miss a break. Thanks, Cosmic. I think I missed something from Grandpa Crafter as well. Oh, it's just one. It's a little sad. It feels very small. This might be a better thing in the window. So if I can sacrifice this, it might be better to push this, whoops, into the windowsill. And then that's what I mean by the data pack giving us that much larger. I think I like that better. What do we want? That feels a little bit cool. I think I might like, it's either gonna be the, the blue A or potentially the lily. Oh, the lily doesn't do anything fancy. Or does it, yeah, it just splits. But it's facing the wrong direction. Does that change directions? Facing left here. And it's facing left there. That is, what? <laughs> That's turning. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. That is weird. Keep it at that. Uh, and then I think I'm going to want more candles. Pink would contrast more. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it would. Uh, die, 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 die. Almost all of my shulkers are currently on the floor. I think we go with one. Cool. And I feel like it's missing stuff in here, but I'm not exactly sure what we could do. It'll look brighter in here when we add some lights in here, because this obviously needs something. I mean, it's it's spawn proof, but it's real, real low. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. I do this about once an hour. I'm well overdue now, and uh, gives me a chance to stretch, reheat the coffee, that kind of thing. You should too. Maybe grab a friend, grab a snack. We'll be right back at about five or six minutes.
Ancients, thanks for the raid. Coming in with a party of four. Welcome in, everyone. If you're brand new, my name is Joel Duggan, and I stream and podcast full-time. Co-host and producers on the Citadel Cafe and the Spawn Trunks podcast, and of course, here on Twitch, four days a week. Welcome in. Ancients, what were you doing up on stream? What were you keeping yourself busy with? Oh, that's not going to stack, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What were we doing? We were doing inside stuff. I think we got all of the insides here done. I was thinking about needing more hanging stuff, but I think the last bits are more like armor stand details. I don't think I want to get into that right now. I do want to change the floor plates though. That I think I'll leave as it is. Maybe I'll switch these. I think that's good. And we're going to put a door here, opening that way. Good, good. And we'll probably put a spruce door, if a door at all. Maybe we don't put a door at all here. I'm not worried about the detail in this because I haven't decided if I want to keep those colors yet. So I'm not too worried about that. This, however, I was thinking about this and I feel like this needs a railing, but if I put a railing here, it's really in the way. And because I've got one there, it makes that a lot easier to go up. But then we've got this spot here that looks very strange. And that sort of is in the way. It doesn't look very good. So maybe we can't do a railing right here. Oh, that actually looks better because it caps that corner. Maybe that's all we need. And then I'm going to change this to hide the brick. Just enough so we don't bash ourselves. Oh, that doesn't look very good either, does it? Can I change that outside? That's probably this piece right here. Yeah. I might not be able to get away with that. If I do that, I have to do it all the way around. Which is really only here, so maybe. I kind of like that. I think it gives maybe the base a little bit of a sturdier look. And if it fixes the inside, Yeah. Once we decide what these bricks are going to be, I think it'll work. Ancients, uh, mostly building an office skyscraper around your iron farm, as I explained, uh, a sand duper and, oh, a sand duper and worked a bit on the sidewalk. Right on. So one thing we don't do here is duplicate blocks on the citadel. That could be a stair. I will fix that. I 
think we're pretty good. We've still got that issue there. But that's under underneath, I think. Yeah, that is inconsequential. So we can make that whatever we want. Probably a stone block. We'll just use bricks for now. We don't dupe TNT on the Citadel either. No, we don't dupe anything. That keeps that looking nice and smooth. That is a slab. I think I like the slab better. And then up here, maybe we'll just do a trapdoor. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, here we'll do a stair. Yeah, that works. And in this situation, I think a barrel would look good. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Yeah, I like that. Uh, we might wanna go with a little something like that. If that's the case, maybe I can put the barrel farther out. Yep, I like that. And this is where we could hang a lantern maybe. I don't want things to be super bright, but I feel like that's probably the best course. Still not in love with that. I feel like we'd want to have... Oh, if I do that, maybe I want to get rid of that in favor of... Oh, no, wait a minute. If I do that, I can't put something on them. Hold on. Maybe not the whole length. Although a shelf over the stove is also not a great idea. I feel like we could use an armor stand to put something up there. And then, oh, time to sleep. With the server updated to 1.20.4, are you using the same shaders or have you found a different, better ones? Nope, still using the same ones. I think it says on my F3 screen, actually. Maybe only if I'm using them. Thought it showed the shaders. Shader pack, BSL version 8.1.02.2. Because having a short version number would be too easy. Yeah, I haven't changed the shader pack. I looked at getting another one. Like I wanted to try to find a shader pack that I could have a minimal shader going and try to actually play with it, like stream all the time with the shaders. I like what Iskall has got going on on, on Hermitcraft. Now, I mean, those guys all have much better computers than I do. So there's that. I like that. Not sure how I feel about that. Maybe we'll leave that closed or put it outside I 
that's fine. And that's going to get turned into a table. At least it wasn't called better shaders. Yeah, that's fair. So with this tables and chairs data pack, you can smack it with a hammer and change it to only have two legs on the side that you're facing. So it actually looks like a table. Very simple, but very effective. And I think now I have to tackle the big, the big beast in the room, which is do I like the bottom texture? I like the tough. I don't think I like the cobblestone, but I think a good part of that is because we've got the cobblestone in the wall here. I, I feel like it might need a little bit more contrast. So maybe we're going to try some basalt and some cobbled deep slate. I guess I can get rid of some of this for now. Gappy, hello, welcome back. Did tables and chairs get updated or did you fix it? It got updated to the point where at least the new version works. The The old entities in the world still do not work, but um, but mini packs gave me some stuff to type in that should fix it. But the problem is that it deletes everything in the near vicinity, so I have to go around and like look and see what's actually happening. It's the kind of thing I don't think I'm going to do live on stream. It's the kind of thing I'm, I'm cause I know it's going to make me angry. Oh, there's something back there to actually attach this to. That's good. Whoops. Rabelais resubbed to tier one for 45 months, which is a gift subscription from Cosmic Dancer. Very, very cool. Thanks so much, Rabelais. Appreciate the shout out. Good to see you. Oh, I can't put that on the corner. What about... No. I need another texture, I guess. I don't like that as much as I thought I was going to. It's so small. It might be worth it just to do all dark. I think maybe we just use deep slate. Wrong button.
Same old, same old. Right on. Uh, let's go with bricks. Be careful with those. But we've used those in other spots. Maybe the lightest I go is tough. We could also cover this up with a little bit of, um, a little bit of, uh, Should we call it bushes? Maybe we'll switch those. I think the polished is maybe either too much or it needs to be like a solid base. But what does that do when we get around to our chimney? Actually, you know what? That'll work. Oops. I do like having the basalt in there. wonder if we go all the way to andesite on the bottom, if that's going to be too shiny. I know I've got blocks hanging around inside too. Hmm. If we do that, we have to go all the way around with it. And maybe even up on the corners. I think I like that. Kind of echoes a little bit of what's going on with the the hearth still getting used to new buttons it's really reducing the amount of stuff I have for textures though but that's okay I didn't bring any more with me
we can break up if this feels a little bit too silver we can break it up with uh with bushes and that way we don't have to redo the basement either which is nice Really getting a hard reno. Is it there? I think that looks pretty good. There's a window there. We might be able to get away with the uh, basalt here. It is getting very cozy <laughs> in here. Yeah, I'm okay with the like the surfaces near the kitchen feeling a lot more rough. Cool. And then this, now that we've got this all sorted, this can change. But I'm going to go get a set of stairs because I don't think I want to put a door there. I think it'd be better. If I have a door, it's going to be a spruce door. And if it's there, I'm going to leave it open. I'll grab one of those. Yeah, I'm growing impatient. That's why I'm flying back to the shulkers. Break that up, and then we can do that and maybe cracked here too. I 
feel like this is a little bit too much. Ooh, I wonder in here if we could get away with the polished. I don't know if we can get away with this. That does look kind of nice. It's that, or maybe we can go with the polished deep slate. I kind of like that better. It is very dark. Yeah, if we have the door there, I think we would leave it open. Okay, uh, and now we just have to texture the floor in the kitchen. And I think all the structural changes are good. Miss those. Yeah, and then all of this can stay the same. We'll add some texture to it, but ultimately not a big deal. Nice. Yeah. So I think we're done with the deep slate. We'll just double check. All looks good to me. Insane value, that's why I do it, uh, the doors that way. It means that because we have the server on hard mode, it means that the zombies can't break my doors, which drives me crazy. It's not my favorite game mechanic. I mean, that would be a fun data pack to add. If, if, you, don't have to, if you don't want to have to worry about it, then you could just add a data pack to say, like, zombies can't break doors. That would be cool. I think that would be, a, like, a one of those nice vanilla plus things that doesn't really change too much all right we need some cracked stone which i don't seem to have Might as well use them. So we need stone, indesite cobble. Cracked stone is coming. I might make some beams. And what else am I going to need?
Oh, thanks, Grandpa Crafter. Yeah, I like the dark change, too. It needed something. It definitely needed something. I guess that changes what we think about the foundation over here, too. Right now it's tough and cobble, which I might leave. Smooth stone is the other thing I need. Sometimes I wish there was a little bit more, like, like within stone textures. Like, I wish you could waterlog bricks and have there be water in the cracks or grass in the cracks. Like, it would be fun to have, like, water spilled around here somewhere, but the only way to do that would be, like, a stair. <laughs> You'd have to have, like, a weird little pool of of water somewhere, which would be odd. I guess we could probably do it underneath that stair. Hold on. I just, I'm curious now. It might not look good, but it might be something we could potentially utilize. If not now, maybe in the future. So you're just a regular stair block. So if we did this and then turn this this way. No, I don't want to turn it that way. And then waterlog this stair and then put this back. It's yeah, so it still looks like a hole. It doesn't look like water on the floor. It's it's not bad. Like it's that's pretty good. <laughs> um but yeah, not not exactly what I was hoping for. Instead, what we'll do is maybe we'll use andesite here cuz andesite I find can look either shiny or wet. And so that tends to work pretty well. And then this would be kind of worn, assuming somebody would be standing here all the time. This may be cracked from the heat. Oh, cracked or still bacon. Damn you, boy, for science, right? It's always worth giving something a shot, especially in a game like Minecraft where you can basically undo anything and everything that you've just done, right? I should do another stack of those. CJ, thanks very much. Happy Sunday to you too. Making progress. We've got lots of details done here. It feels very empty, so we might have to start hanging things from the ceiling, but so far, I think all the patience and all the, the time spent uh, working on the, the layout, the first couple of streams really make it a lot easier to um uh, to fill in the details like i feel like i've just been coloring coloring in the lines now maybe we can have the basement have a leak that could be kind of fun And
Oh, I'm out. Crap. It's a little bumpy coming out of there. It's not a smooth run. <laughs> you kind of bounce off the walls a little bit. That's pretty good. And I think this was meant to be a stair. No, this one. That's got grass on it. What is that? Oh, okay. Looks like a full block it is. That's probably why it was a full block. Right, lighting. Probably just a lantern. I'd like that to have like some sort of kitchen stuff on it, but I do wish sometimes that we could have these lit just aesthetically. That would be very nice. Maybe just a lantern up here would be enough to light this more. So we could try that too. Because this is going to give off like level 13 or more on the floor in here. That's really bright. Yeah, that was a good guess. I mean, it probably takes care of a lot of his stuff down here. Nope, does not get even down the stairs. Okay. So we'll need something else down here. But I'm curious if we got rid of that and instead put it in here, because this is feeling pretty empty. And I feel like here's where we could put in beams I don't think I want anything here I guess I could put a ladder in the corner couldn't I or maybe that's what we could do to cover this up because that's now cracked uh, deep slate bricks Matt B good to see you can maybe put a slab to smooth the transition on the ceiling. Not sure if you have the room though. Uh, where where do you mean? The ceiling and a slab is not precise enough. So 
So we could hang a lantern here. And that changes that. I don't know if that changes that at all. It, we get like one. So it goes from two, three, four, two, three, four, five. And it goes fives and fours. And it still feels really dark. Like I feel like this needs a lot more light. Maybe I can just put some candles here. That could be good. It's tough. More break time. Yeah, probably a good idea. So I'm going to want to put some candles in here somewhere. I guess right there is the only spot for him. We'll change those. I mean, it looks pretty good. I don't think we need to go as far as adding more in there. No. That's a decent solution. And the lighting, see if I can do this without having to pillar up there. Uh, H. And then F4. Oh, that works. Sweet. Yeah, so then the lighting on top of that is fine. There's no spawns up in here. And I don't know what we're going to use this room for. This feels a little bit strange. Maybe we end up with a carpet or something in the corner. A little reading spot. I could put bookshelves there. That might be okay. Oh man, my stutter is back. Whoa. Alright, so the lighting in the kitchen is going to be just for ambience. A book nook, yeah. I did that over here. Oh man, the stutter is real. Uh, in the top floor of this place. Which is also a good place to AFK. Man, it is crazy. So like I did, I did this kind of a thing. This, and this is someone's like bedroom, but I feel like we could do something like this in the space that we have but i'm going to step away for another short break if you're new to the channel i do this about once an hour it gives me a chance to stretch grab another cup of coffee and i'll be right back
I'm going to cut through the keep and pick up some extra beds if I have any. True dog. Hello, hello. Don't know if I have any extra beds. If I do, they're probably the wrong color, but I might have a data pack that lets us dye the beds. Yeah. I'll bring one, but I don't think I can re-dye them. I think I can dye white beds, maybe? Oh, speaking of beds, we will duck in here and sleep. Are you going to redial all the beds now? Maybe that's not even a data pack. You're right. Maybe that's just straight up changes in vanilla, right? Cool. Good to know. Right, so we needed some candles in there. And then the next phase was going to be up here. I don't think we have enough room to do a hallway. If I did, it would be one of these type of situations where I would probably do a hallway like that, but that's re that's really, really tiny. And I guess there would be a door there. I didn't bring with me. Maybe even farther back. So that means that these rooms would be very, very small. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think this might be a, a situation where there might just be a couple of beds up here on their own. been a year since you've seen the medieval town it's uh it's changed quite a bit in a year <laughs> yeah i don't know we might be able to get get some stuff like like just a single bed in there could be okay there'd be enough room no there wouldn't be enough there just just a bed that's all there would be just a bed in the door Not too claustrophobic. That's re that's really, really snug. I don't know about that because there could be a bed there. Right. That's. I mean, it's just. It's a place to sleep, but there's no no room for a bedside table unless we move this, which I guess we could because it's the end of the hall, right? So this could be technically here. And then we could put a table there. And same thing in here. That's on the outside, so this could be a very big room. 
table there. I don't know about this. We don't necessarily need this, I guess, if we decide to close this off. Which means the whole thing could get bigger. Oh, wrong way. No, I just did that. So that could be the door to this place. And then, so each room would be the same. The layout would be a little bit different. That could work. Yeah, I'm not sure what we've been working on in the last year specifically, but it's all of the building inside, with the exception of the interiors, is now done. The last six months, we've been doing a lot of uh, landscaping outside of the town. Well, yeah, taking a break from online stuff is usually a good thing. A table there. Here we might have to put it there. We could also put a chest there instead. I feel like that could work. And then up here, we could start to curve it over like that. It's a lot of trapdoors. That's kind of boring up there. We don't necessarily need it. It might be better to have that plus a beam. And then maybe a stair. Although that's really, really quite low. Maybe the beam has to be not above the door. That might look... Actually, that doesn't look so bad. I thought that might look funny, but it looks okay. Oh, of course it connects. Dang it. I guess we could put a, a mangrove. Oh, no, mangrove stair is still going to connect to the stair. That's annoying. Mangrove slab, I guess. 
because that's going to be outside yeah that's all still a little claustrophobic i think we just skip those all together And now you know why I have so many trap doors. I guess technically that could be the door, couldn't it? Oh, here we bring into a problem. Right. Well, I guess what we could do here is just have the door be wrecked right here. So just a door there and a door there. That way this ends up being a big room. I feel like I'd prefer to have a chest. Maybe we can cram a chest in there. I think that works. And then up here, can't do a double table. That feels kind of strange. I can't do a chest there. Guess I could do a chest in the corner. AR Gaming, thanks very much. I really appreciate the kind words. I'm glad you like it. Glad you like it. Oh no. Any more? Had enough of that the other day. Too many things in the inventory. I guess we're done with the stone, mostly. I was doing the basement textures. And I got sucked into doing the upstairs. I'm realizing that I keep on walking up this corner. So it makes me think there should be 
Maybe a full stair there. Something I like about doing this kind of thing is you can usually discover the paths that you're taking. I guess we'll go with that. Yeah. And this would go here. And on this block, it would go there. Oh, I forgot to bring tripwire tri hooks. That feels all jam-packed at the edge. Maybe we switch these? No, and I can't put it there. I guess we do that. Now, thankfully, we don't have to light it up in here. I think that door needs to open up in a different way. Nope. I want it to be on the other corner. That's not confusing at all. <laughs> I think it made more sense when it opened into the room, but I prefer I prefer that because it looks better when you walk in here. So I'll probably put another tablecloth and a couple of candles there. Or actually, maybe we'll put like a mini block. That could be kind of fun. Now this. I think maybe we can fudge these. Yeah. Like that. And I decided not to put anything on them. I just can't do anything there. Maybe here we'll leave that exposed. Okay, it lives it gives it a little bit of character. I think I like that better. The so 
more white candles and tablecloths. Trapdoors are great for building compact stuff, I agree. Oh, mini block. What would we put up there? Like a mini chest or something? I do like the little mini beehives. They're good. Good little block. Find anything that breaks the Minecraft grid. Oh, can I not? Oh, because the carpet probably just... Right. I can do it without... Can I not put that on there? What's going on? Can you not put mini blocks on the new tables and chairs? Because I've done that in the past for sure oh maybe the chair's in the way yeah the chair was in the way okay that makes more sense so the this is technically an armor stand so the armor stand was probably in the way i think i like that better than the tablecloth Maybe we'll do the tablecloth in here. Don't have the stairs. There's always something that you forget. You know, it might be worth it to put um, a dark oak door up here just to kind of have them stand out. It might not seem that much of a rustic in after that, though. Uh, stairs. Yeah, it's better on the other one because it's farther away. Here it's not so good. Maybe we can do slabs instead. Yeah, I like that. Very simple. I don't think I want to do carpet in these places. Actually, that could look good if it was like a gray carpet or a brown carpet. Just to give something else in the room to look at. That's trapdoor. Oh, there's a space there. We could do chest. Yep. See that when you come in. So carpet there. And we can't really do carpet here. I guess we could put a... A small carpet. Yeah, why not? Not white though. Let's go with like brown or gray, or maybe even dark gray. Uh, 
Hello, 88. Fantastic to see you. Hope you're doing well. Do I have... Don't think I have the right carpets. Should be good. Do this before I forget. I think that's a really fun texture pack change to just have trap chests be a different color, like to make them spruce chests, you know, instead. I like that. Those can go in here. Do I want to try a brown carpet too, maybe? I have it, might as well. I think the regular gray looks the best. We'll go with the dark gray there just for fun. Or maybe we go dark gray here because it's darker than the chest. Yeah. Cool. I don't think there needs to be anything else in here. Trap doors means we don't have to light anything up. Great. I think I'll leave that open. Just for fun. And this comes out to the balcony. I think that's the wall. Yeah, you can see that, okay. Whoops. So my thought was to have a chest there. We can't do anything else here unless I wanted to make it a solid block. And that would have the same face. And you really can't tell. So if I wanted to have like a shelf there, I'm not sure what I would put there though. Yeah, you really can't see it. So I really I could put whatever I want there. The problem is that that overlaps, so we'd have to come up with something that was suitable. I try the bookshelf. don't think this is going to work. It looks kind of funny half covered. And it looks a little bit funny there. 
I could turn it sideways this way and have the bookshelf be in this room. That's cool. Looks weird here, but looks kind of like storage, I guess. And that doesn't look very good. What if we do a barrel? And then one of these. Hmm. It's okay. Well, that's too bad about the work from home change, Low. I wish companies would clue in about that kind of stuff. I say that as someone that's worked from home for the better part of a decade, but I'm self-employed, so there are good and bad. <laughs> There's ups and downs with the full time from home. Yeah, that's uh, I guess I could put another barrel down here. Yeah, I think that works. Kind of a fun bit in there. Maybe we'll put some um, books in there. Now here is why I had the bookshelves in the first place because I thought this could be fun. As a way to cover that up. I still find that very tight. I don't know what else to do. I guess carpet is our only other option. But even that doesn't make sense, right? I like that look. Maybe not with those kinds. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Yeah, I really wish there was something we could put here that just wouldn't be in our way that would cover that up, but there's really nothing. And that is a very specific part of both the kitchen and the front room. It's that block right there. And I don't think it looks good. Brown. It's not the end of the world. might be worth it just to save myself the headache up here just go full on oh what if we did a barrel what if we did a barrel it might look special if we did that That might work. Or I could just do that and solve the whole thing. I think we'll do that. And that way this doesn't matter at all.
Nope. Still see it from the kitchen. And that is why I wanted to put a slab there. Ha 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 ha! Victory is mine! And honestly, we could probably just drop that straight down. Or put a stair there, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, it's too bad you can't do different slabs, I agree. So that was only meant to be there if I was going to hang a lantern. So I don't think I need that there. I think we can do that just fine. And that's enough texture there. A little bit of extra height, a little bit of extra texture. Nice. Okay, so I like the bookshelves and I guess we can do, I guess a chair. Chair in the corner, maybe? And then probably something here with a flower in it, right? Guess I've got beds right here. I should probably sleep. You can sit on the chairs, yeah. I don't particularly care about it because it's just me around most of the time and it just, it, it kind of, it's not the best mechanic. You kind of get stuck in them. Oh, wow. Those are some friends. I think that's everybody. So we'll grab a light table, flower pot, we'll ditch some of the carpet. Need that for the chair. I think maybe I can do a dark oak slab that might pass as like an ottoman. And I need more bookshelves. Don't think I need the lanterns anymore either. Well, we didn't really get to the outside. I thought I was going to be able to finish the inside and the outside today, but... I guess I should have known better. I forget how long interiors take. 
think it might be worth it to just cup this right in. Um, I don't know. This should match. You know what? I think it's better. Just the table. I didn't bring the flower. That's fine. Really only spots for one chair. And that's fine, because anything else is just going to be in your way. Walking around. So that'll be probably just another flower pot and a blue A. Speaking of those tables and chairs, if I give you locations and screenshots of old ones I have that are stuck in that ghost block state, are you able to remove them for me? Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure mini packs gave me the the deets I know and if you've got screenshots then I feel better about it because I can just remove them and then you can go back and replace them I don't want to do it like that for um for the Citadel for um West Hill because it just it's just too large of a thing to remember where they are flower pot I find with the data pack, it all depends. I guess I could have put it in the windowsill, but I like having that there. All depends on whether this is going to be one of our special flowers. And it is. Very cool. That's blue. I wish you could take flowers in and out of flower pots without destroying the whole thing. It's nice that they're different. I feel like red might be too bright. Does it spin around? That I don't know. I have not noticed that. But I think the red is, it kind of clashes a little bit too much. It's too close to everything. And with the white calcite, it, it gives me Christmas vibes. Oh, come on. So this could look good in the fact that it matches, or it could look like too much of the same. I think I kind of like that. Yep, I think because this is a lighter color uh, in tone than the blue, it stands out better against the books. Plus, the books might clash a little bit. I might change my t mind once I put books in here. I might change this to a different color to match the books. So the the cornflower may work. Oh, you can take them out. Thanks. Kelberti, thank you. Surprised I didn't know that. I love this data pack that gives like the extra boost to the flowers. It's random, depending on where it is placed in the world, so that's annoying, but other than that. Uh that's good. Alright. Uh is there anything else up here? So it's just the books. I don't want to do all the books today. Okay, 
feel like that works. There could be more stuff like hanging on the wall. I feel like we could put like a trip wire hook here and put something there. I don't know what it would be. Just the, there needs to be something here to, to pop out. Like it just, it just needs a little bit of geometry. Like even that, I mean, it does, that doesn't make any sense, but just that geometry change helps. So we'll need something there, like a tripwire hook. I'm not sure what we would put on it, but I'll put the tripwire hook there for now. You can't put a carpet on top of a slab. Yeah, I've thought about that. There's there has been some mods that I've looked at that have footstools. And as I've gotten more and more frustrated with the tables and chairs data pack, I've certainly thought about Yeah, see how that helps? Uh, I've certainly thought about switching over to something that has a very basic furniture mod. There was one I think it's called another furniture mod that I was looking at very closely. The thing I don't like about it though is that the, the tables i actually way back when axel first wrote this data pack i sent some models to him because i felt that his models were too fancy and i sent very similar or very simple vanilla models and then he redid them based on i think what i sent and the another furniture mod is cool but the square the chairs are really squat like the bottom of the chair is like way down low and it looks dumb it doesn't it doesn't really work these are ginormous chairs. If these were in real life, they'd be these would be huge. But it works for the Minecraft scale. And that particular mod pack also has footstools and it connects so you can do like couches and stuff. And I I think I might want to try to use it, but I think we have to keep the tables and chairs data pack so I don't have to sacrifice all of the things here in West Hill. And then maybe I'll use a new furniture mod for the modern city. I feel like I'm going to have to add a mod for the modern city. We we already have a couple of mods on the server that are helping out in that way. It, it wouldn't be bad to, I don't want to replace block textures, but I'm totally cool with adding proper furniture for the modern city. Cause using like stair blocks and stuff like that for sofas, I just, I can't, it doesn't really work for me. Okay. So I think it was just the downstairs that needed some love. Does this have lighting? Yes. Right. All right. I'm not going to go, go and texture this whole thing because I got to go. Um, so we've not done the basement. Basement not finished. We have got books to fit in up here. A couple of small details. I'd like to take a look at this balcony and see if I can't make it look a little bit nicer. Maybe change up some of the trapdoors a little bit so that they're not all, all these ones. That could be doable. So we'll do another pass on the upstairs but i quite like this i think this is just enough space seems to work pretty well i'm not sure about those trapdoors maybe that has to be more structured and that's a slab so that that could maybe benefit from being a stair like there's a couple things in here i think this is very uh grid like and i think if we change those stair those slabs to stairs going that way i think it would look a little bit better so we'll probably mess around with some stuff like that i'm okay with this seam because we've got a nice texture um change there as well Oh, do I have a spare carpet? I don't think this chair has got carpet on it. Just white. Eh, never mind. It's probably gonna be too bright. I'll just leave it. Cool. Well, I'd say that was pretty productive. I'm happy with this. This is very bright. My only beef. I wish we had some subtle 
campfire stuff. I guess I could extinguish that and then light some candles. But I feel like this gets super dark. Well, you know, that's not the end of the world. The thing about having all the trapdoors is that it really helps the light bounce around in here. Especially when you've got trapdoors up here. Now, if I do that, does that turn the top floor into a spawning area? No. It doesn't. Okay. Kind of like that better. Not as bright. Maybe I could switch that around. Yeah, that's cool. I might change my tune at nighttime. It might be a little bit too dark at nighttime. Uh, in that case, I might just light that candle. So inside here, uh, with the exception of some details that need to happen, maybe back here, I think we're done. Uh, we need to do some armor stand stuff, maybe. Perhaps hang a few things in here. Having a little hook here would be good, I think. And then the grounds and the outside. So I think the next step would be probably making sure I finish my textures. So changing this to have some texture, changing this to reflect the decisions we made on the front. Uh, we've got signs and red nether brick and a few other things out here. Uh, obviously, I'm missing some signs. So that's good. Why do you rain when I try to show stuff off? You know what? Just for the sake of it. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. This is really cramped, but most kitchens in Minecraft usually feel pretty pretty cramped. I normally don't do it, Eli Jenkins, but when I'm trying to wrap up a stream and show off the build and it's raining and it's gray and I've got like 10 minutes before I can sleep, I'm usually just like, nope, don't have the patience for that. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I, a little concerned that our, our chimney kind of gets lost in the base of, of the tower. So I'll, I'll probably leave that. I mean, it is polished, so it does look okay. But is it the shaders? No, looks the same regardless. So it's a little, a little lost. So I might end up changing that back into andesite. Which would not be the end of the world. I just don't want it to get lost on the other side. Like confused with the andesite blocks. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. I wish we had like a dark iron block. I feel like a cast iron block is something that... I feel like the iron block should be a cast iron block. I know they'd never change it. It's such a classic block now, but cast a, a cast iron block, I think would be very useful, especially if it matches the anvils. And if they change the iron bars to be cast iron, I think that could be really, really cool. Not just for medieval stuff, but for anything. But cool. Well, I think that's where we're going to leave things off folks. Uh, I am going to pass you along somebody else playing Minecraft. Sliced lime is live they're doing a hardcore world that seems like a good place to send y'all i will be back again on thursday at one o'clock atlantic that's utc minus four hours because i'm on atlantic standard time you can follow me here on twitch and social media at joel duggan very easy to find and don't forget to listen to the spawn chunks podcast we have a guest tomorrow mog swamp is going to be with us and we're going to be talking about super flat worlds as well as the mace 
and all the other stuff that's happening. And uh, that's going to be out tomorrow, usually end of day for me. So between 4 and 5 p.m. Although, wait a minute. We're recording later to accommodate for time zones for Mogswamp. So it might not be out until the evening. Uh, but uh, check your favorite podcast apps. Tuesday morning for sure it'll be done. Uh, that'll be out there. And uh, I'm hoping to record a new episode of the Citadel Cafe. I watched Oppenheimer on the weekend. So looking to talk about that. Those podcasts are, of course, available everywhere, including YouTube. Very easy to find. Don't forget to check out Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, then I would very much appreciate it. It is one of the best ways for me to continue to stream and do cool new stuff here on Twitch in Minecraft. And uh, last but not least, thanks to Cosmic and Sweet Sandy for the moderation this weekend. Much appreciated. Y'all are awesome. And uh, thanks for the support, folks. See you next time. Bye for now.